comes when your rock chip Android box has started messing up at sa kasamang palad ay eh hindi ka nakapag-backup. Is there a chance to install another firmware to make it work again? The answer is yes, and we'll discuss how to flash a compatible ROM to any Rockchip Android box using the Rockchip Android tool. Let's go! Rockchip Android tool is probably the most useful app for Rockchip Android boxes when it comes to flashing stock firmwares or compatible ROMs. In order for you to be able to use the method I'm about to share, you must ensure first that you indeed have a rock chip processor, and you must identify what kind of Wi-Fi chip na meron ka sa device mo. One of the best apps to use for this purpose is the device Info HW. Just download and install this from the Play Store. Once done, run it from your Android box. The app will list down what type of processor and Wi-Fi chip you have. Before we proceed, it is important to note that this flashing method I'm about to show you could passively break your Android box lalo na kung magpa-flash ka ng mga untested or mga incompatible firmwares. It is therefore highly recommended to first back up your current firmware para in case na nagloko ang device niya after flashing, you can easily restore to your previous firmware. Please refer to my other video in the link provided on how to perform this backup process. In this firmware flashing demo procedure, I will be needing the following Rockchip Driver Assistant Rockchip Android Tool A compatible firmware Which I will be using a firmware for RK32288A processor with ESP8089 Wi-Fi driver A Windows PC or a laptop A toothpick or any long pointed device A full USB mail-to-mail -mail cable I have fully tested this procedure on an MXQ Pro 4K 5G with RK32288 processor with ESP8089 Wi-Fi chip. If you have the same chipset as mine, please proceed. However, I will not be responsible for any damages done to your device in performing this procedure as all Android boxes, even those with the same specifications, contain various firmware and electronic components that could affect the flashing process. Please proceed at your own risk. For those with Android boxes that have rock chip processor but with different Wi-Fi chip, I have posted some helpful links below where you could possibly download a compatible firmware for your device. Please note that I have not tested them personally so please read and study all the comments in those forums before flashing any firmware to your device. Alright, let's begin. First, we have to download the rock chip driver assistant, the rock chip Android tool, and the Android box firmware. I have provided the download links in the description below, so go ahead and download these files. Once finished, simply extract these files using the built-in Windows File Compression app or any third-party file compression tool such as WinRAR or WinZip. For this particular demo, I will use WinRAR to extract each file to their own separate folder. Once extracted, you can place them anywhere you want. For my case, I will transfer these files in my C drive and place them in a folder which I will name as Rockchip Tools. Next thing we will do is to install the Rockchip Driver Assistant. We need to install this first because our PC needs to have the driver for it to communicate properly to our device. Let's open the Driver Assistant folder on a new tab. Get inside the Driver Assistant folder and double-click the driver install that next set. Click Yes for the User Account Control window. Click Install Driver and wait for the installation to finish. After the installation, click OK. You may now close all the windows related to the Rockchip driver. Next, 
buksan na natin yung tool na gagamitin natin sa pag-clash ng ating firmware. Going back to the Rockchip Tools folder, let's get further inside the Android Tool Release folder until we reach the executable file. Double-click the Android Tool.exe to open the application. Click Yes for the User Account Control window. The Arcade Dev Tool window will now appear. This will now be our main tool in flashing the Rockchip firmware. Okay, let's click the Upgrade Firmware tab, then click the Firmware button. A new window will appear which will ask for the firmware you want to flash. Let's go to the folder where we have saved the firmware. It is located in C drive under the Rockchip Tools folder which we have created a while back. Get inside this folder and look for the IMG file. Select it and click Open. Wait for the firmware to get recognized by the flashing tool. Once recognized, you will now be able to see the details of the firmware. Notice at the bottom part that there is no device found yet. Our Rockchip Android box needs to be in flash mode first before it can be connected to your PC via the full USB mail-to-mail -mail cable. To set the device into flash mode, first make sure that the power supply cord is not connected to the Android box. Then, iko-connect nyo ng yung HDMI cord na galing sa TV nyo papunta sa MXQ Pro. As for the full USB mail-to-mail -mail cable, plug the other end of the cable to the USB port of your PC. While the other end, yabang nyo lang siya sa USB port na malapit sa AV port ng Android box nyo. Don't plug the USB cable yet. This will be done later. Next, get your position screwdriver and insert it to the AV port. Itulak nyo lang pababa hanggang maramdaman mo na may magkiklik. Don't release the screwdriver yet. Hayaan nyo lang siyang nakapress sa reset button. Habang nakapress pa ang reset button, you can now plug the USB cable. After one second, you can now release the precision screwdriver. Zeiss introduces new Zeiss Photo Fusion X. 